if you are heading to tailgate tomorrow and you would like to stay away from some of the unhealthy food options, we have Heather Pierce here from uh, Blunt Memorial and she is going to show us some clean eating tips for you to tailgate. And Heather, it yeah. smells awesome over here, yeah, although a lot of these options are a little bit on the healthier side. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. I'm not saying ditch the hot dogs and yeah. hamburgers and pizza, but maybe have a few other options for that for, for you, you know, or <laughs> you know, your loved ones that are trying yeah. to cut calories or something like that too. Totally. But I think you. it's uh, and clean eating just has a, a doesn't really have a definition, but I, yeah. I feel like the closer to the whole source, the 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 whole source of the, of the food, you know, yeah. the original source that we can get. So fruits, vegetables, whole grain, you know, things like that. I think are helpful to, to kind so of clean of it up a little bit. Avoid some of those processed foods. Yeah, that a little a lot bit. Of people yeah. go for on game day. Exactly, or at least balance it out. So yeah. here's some options that you can balance, or if you're tailgating at home like I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so popcorn instead of those chips, um, you know, greasy little things like that. Yeah, popcorn's a good, a good, you know, because if you're watching a game, you like that crunch. You like to munch on yeah. something to eat. Yeah. You get excited, you eat a little bit faster. And you know, it, ta it takes a lot of popcorn to actually add up to much calories at all okay. anyway. So why not, you know, <laughs> if you're gonna have a little mindless eating, it's a little bit more uh, friendly for that, but I don't want people to do that. But so you have a little bowl, you have your yep. little individual bowls and you can spray it. This is just a, a an avocado oil or you could do okay. the, the butter flavored Pam or whatever. Yeah. You okay. know, for if you're especially, if you're tailgating and need something quick, but just here's a garlic, garlic parmesan one. Ooh, just, so just have like a, a popcorn bar. Make your oh, own. I like that. Make you can have salt, you know, for those folks that like that. But chili lime, that's a pretty good combination. Where'd you get this? At? Is this just like a rub that you'd put on meat or something? Yeah, it is actually. But they do make one that's for popcorn out there. Yeah. I just couldn't find it. Yeah, so no, I figured, I mean, you know, it's, it's not going to be that much different. So that, and you can use it for grilling too. Um, <laughs> and then cinnamon, just plain cinnamon for uh, for kind of that sweet oh, yeah. so taste for popcorn. To avoid cinnamon sugar, right? I, mean, I would probably, to. yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I would probably go with just the cinnamon. It has a, t a sweet taste to it anyway, so yes. that's kind of nice. Question, okay, mm -hmm. so you know they already have the pre-processed, like, popcorn that yeah. comes in bags. Is that just as bad as chips, you think? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So okay. I would, this is air popped. Actually, I did it in the microwave in a paper bag, so it's super easy that way too. Okay, so. perfect, gotcha. <laughs> Um, so as far as fruits and vegetables, we know to add more of those, but how do we do that on game day? Either a bowl of fruit would be nice, mm -hmm. or skewers are kind of nice to have, yeah. easy to eat, and then maybe drizzle instead of those candy bars and things like that, ice cream, you know, this could be another alternative that's still sweet and cool and help cure that sweet tooth. That's right, that's right. I like so, that a lot, okay. And a caprese kebab, <laughs> so a little bit of vegetable there, so we still have tomatoes in season pretty well. And so it's just basil, spinach. So it's basically a salad on a stick. Yeah. And then you have your vinaigrette. You could d drizzle over that if you wanted to, or just have it as a dip. Like a balsamic kind mm -hmm. of vinaigrette that you put on there? Yes, yes. So Sweet. you could even put this in a bowl and serve it in, with smaller bowls too. So, I love that. Okay. So that's a pretty good idea. And I think also just remember smaller plates versus larger plates, you know, especially when it comes to processed foods. Um, you know, if you're gonna have those chips, burgers, things like that around, you know, it does help to have a little smaller, especially smaller while, you're, while, you're eat, while you're watching a game. And last but not least, the drinks. Yes, yes. Drink, alcoholic drinks tend to be popular during football. So yeah. uh, this is just orange juice and club soda. It'll cut half of the calories if you're, I'm not saying ditch it all, but you know, maybe even alternate your beverage and I'll have a little nutrition there. And champagne it's, has less calories than wine. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that, yeah. but I, I yeah. heard that this yeah. last week and I was like, hmm, who would have thought? So, right. Orange juice, a little club soda makes right. you feel like you're kind of having something festive. And it's festive. cool because it's going to be hot too. So. Oh, yeah. yes. And it's <laughs> orange. And that's the most that's right. important part because we're cheering on the balls. We're hoping for a big win. And you have all these great ideas here. And the best mm -hmm. part about it is like most of these options are pretty affordable. Yeah. Yeah. And easy. Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, Absolutely. Heather, where can we learn more information if we want to contact you or get more information maybe about some dietary needs? Well, you we can go to bluntmemorial.com and um, check, check the links there and see what's coming up. Awesome. So, okay. Okay, well, thank you so much, Heather. Well, you are watching.